We're the Schaffnitz family. I'm Amy. And I'm Robert. This is Vien. She's almost two. And this is River. He's three. Welcome to our very first episode of our new travel vlog, Tesla Tots and Travels. The title says it all. We're a Tesla owning family with two little tots who love to travel. We'll mainly be taking road trips in and around our home state of California, but we hope to venture out across the country more soon. We're going to share our journey to popular family friendly destinations while filming the good, the bad, and the ugly. Although, hopefully there's not too much ugly. Hopefully not. Now let's start at the beginning of our road trip to Santa Barbara and Pismo Beach. And here's our Tesla Model Y that we lovingly refer to as Matilda 2. Let's take a little tour of how we've managed to pack, pack this beast up today. Yeah, up so here. for those of you who aren't familiar with Teslas, there's trunk space in the frunk, which is called the a frunk. <laughs> so we got so, this loaded up, we got the pack and play for the kids. We're all, yeah, so we have a pack and play in there. We have yeah, all kinds of things. And my laptop and all that. We've got that all loaded away there. This is all uh, loaded up in here. Luckily, we didn't have to worry about this uh, storage area underneath. We got some uh, emergency stuff in there. Got all of our bags, the stroller, the double uh, seats, and uh, the, the roller board, and the bags, and all the fun stuff. Let's and then, see who's inside. Look at these little monkeys inside. Well, hello. Hi, you guys ready for a little road trip? Huh? <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, uh -uh. great. We're in trouble, aren't we? Yeah, are you ready for a road trip? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Let's do it, buddy. All right, we're going to Santa Barbara. Bye. Right. We're on the road. We're about um, an hour and a half away from our destination, currently in Calabasas. Um, the scenery looks kind of nice with all the hills everywhere. Hi, Robert. Hello. How are you? Good. Let's see what the kids are doing back here. Hi, Riv. take a tour of the inside of the Tesla Model Y. All right. Well, here we are. It's very spacious and roomy. Here's our whole control center. Again, if you've never been in a Tesla, you're not familiar with it, this is all there is. There's no speedometer, odometer, nothing in the wheel area. It's just this. It's like a big iPad. Yeah. It's like um, driving a big iPhone. Yeah, exactly. Camarillo, California. this cactus. I'm not sure that I've ever seen this much cactus all in one place in this area before. Cacti, maybe I should call it. Our very first bathroom pit stop. Luckily, we bring a little potty chair with us. We don't actually have to go into a bathroom. We just have to pull over somewhere that's a little bit secluded. Not bad, huh? High five? High five? You little peepees? <laughs> There's the first glimpse of the ocean. Actually, it's the second that's glimpse of the there. ocean. I know, I just missed the first one, but the second one, oh no, the trees are blocking it. But where are we, Ventura? Uh, yeah. yeah. Ventura. We're, we're like stuck in crazy traffic between Camarillo. Camarillo? Camarillo. Camarillo. <laughs> There's Camarillo. the ocean. Um, and here, and it looks like it's gonna clear up soon. I thought the worst traffic would be coming through LA, but I was wrong been actually uh, more north of LA so we are late for our reservation to where we're about to go hopefully we get there soon we're so late right now like we haven't even gotten anywhere yet and we're already like so behind schedule Lots we did traffic we did leave 40 minutes almost 40 minutes later than we wanted to this morning however the traffic was like way worse than we were expecting and like we know traffic is bad um, but this was, this is like really bad. Um, so unfortunately with COVID right now, any single place you want to go to or whatever, everything requires reservations when normally you could just come and go as you please. But since we can't do that right now, we have to be able to nail down a time when we want to go do things. So we are about to go to the Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History. I've read it's a really cute spot for the kids, um, but you have to make a reservation to go. And our reservation scheduled time to arrive was between 12 and 1. And now it's almost 1.15. So 15, almost 15 minutes past our scheduled time and we're still, how far away are we? 30 minutes away. Still 30 minutes away. Like, 
If you're going to take 35 miles an hour. Okay, lesson learned right out of the gate. If you are going to take any kind of road trip around Southern California, always expect and be prepared for like an extra hour of traffic just to be on the safe side because like even when you think you know it's going to take a long time, it's going to probably end up taking even longer. A view going up the top. I guess this place is up pretty high. Oh, that's nice. Here's the entrance to the Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History. What's down here? There's the T-Rex. You guys ready to see some dinosaurs? Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we are looking at the Stegosaurus. Say hi to him, Riv. What do you think, Riff? He won't eat you if you say hi to him. The T-Rex. He's waving at you, see? So cool with all the dinosaurs in this little dinosaur forest. Oh, oh look at all those. Look at big ones. Oh, yeah, bud. And get some dolphins. Yeah. What are those? Stegosaurus. Yeah. What are those? What are those, Riv? Yeah. Much to our surprise, the indoor exhibits, or some of them, are open. So here's a Chumash Say hi, Native Mom. American. Wave hi. Pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, now we found something cool. Sharks. You love the sharks, huh, Rip? Yeah, you do. Look at all the fishies, baby. Look at the fishies. Look at the fishies. California. That's so neat. This was a really neat museum, I have to say. We really enjoyed it. Like, how did they get that to stay like that? I don't know. It's a mystery. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Those that's are harbor that's seals, buddy. That's my diamond, that's me. That's my arm. Oh, look at these little ringtail fox. Foxes? Ringtail, oh, they almost look like lemurs. Mule deer. Yep, mule deer. That's me. That's pretty cool. A lot of really cool stuff in here. Definitely worth, worth coming to. Look at this room full of birds. This is seriously like the coolest museum. I think I've ever seen. Like, honestly, it is. Every single bird of California here. Robert, are they missing any? Did they get all of them? I, I think they were missing just three. There's three birds that they do not have in here. Oh. Um, and one of them is a hummingbird. <laughs> oh no, they had a whole collection down there. Uh, yeah, I, I meant not hummingbird. It was a different type of bird. Uh, um, a, a turkey, vulture, pterodactyl, or a seagull. Oh, good. Well, and, they tried. Uh, they Okay, so what was our favorite thing that we saw at the museum today? Mine was an Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus, yeah. I love that, huh, bud? The end, what did you like at the, at the museum today? The Parasaurolophus. Oh, and the Parasaurolophus? Okay. What did you like the most? Uh, a mouse. A mouse? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Gorgeous view of Santa Barbara. More or inland wow. area. Oh, look at I know, look at everybody just hanging out, living their life. Yeah. Really pretty architecture here. All this, you know, super Spanish style. Oh, good thing with the Tesla is you have a clear ceiling. <laughs> the water's straight ahead. We are headed to Stern's Wharf to eat some lunch. A very late lunch, we're starving trying to find parking in downtown Santa Barbara here. A lot of fun. Good times on a Saturday afternoon at 345. Mm -hmm. A lot of people out here, but um, yeah. yeah, we've already been trying to find parking for like at least ten five minutes. to 10 minutes and now. So want... hopefully we find something soon. Okay, huge change of plans. Um, we had to nix the Stern's Wharf idea because this that place was just packed like there was nowhere to park we were in and out of 
parking garages there was nobody no no spaces like it was nuts and then we're like okay if there's this many people here just you know trying to get parking probably every restaurant on Stern's Wharf is gonna be like jam-packed um I'm like wow if this is like how it is like kind of during you know still this like COVID situation I'm like what's it like oh, it's when that. there's that's right what's it like when it's totally normal like wow that's a that's a it's still busy, busy area busy yeah. busy 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 area um Okay, so what we're doing is we have to hit a supercharger. I didn't have anything else planned in Santa Barbara today. Our hotel is actually in Pismo Beach. So, yep, there's the in I told you about. Yep. Um, so we're still starving, haven't eaten dinner or lunch at four o'clock in the afternoon. We're going, heading in the direction of the hotel, but we're gonna stop to just grab a burger somewhere, bring it to the supercharger that we have to stop at to charge. For like 10 minutes. Um, Woof some then, food down yeah, and then- on the way head to head to the um the hotel mm -hmm. so rolling with the punches here it's what you got to do sometimes oh yeah all right this is us taking a little quick supercharger stop here plug in charge it up real fast this is a really fast one um got the kids in the back it's not quite what we had in mind yeah. for lunch today but yeah this isn't this isn't where we were gonna be eating before but now we are it's okay there's room Everybody's having fun, kids are happy, kids are back there hanging out, having a good old time. Wave hi, Vian. Hi. hi. Right now we're leaving Santa Barbara and we're heading up north to Pismo Beach. Again, the ocean on this side. And some nice mountain scenery behind these trees on this side. Looks like we're in the California countryside. It's so pretty. Oh, the glare on the window is terrible, but... These views are what driving up the coast is all about. The mountains with the ocean and the greenery. I see vineyards. I don't really see too many um, leaves on the vines here but it's looking like uh, pre season yeah it's looking like grape growing terrain to me it's just acres and acres and acres and acres of vineyards like it's just crazy how much wine this you know these areas can produce it just is going on for miles now the hotel here we're staying at the oxford suites right yeah, oxford, oxford suites. suites i'm walking in here we'll we'll take a little a little look around oh feeling a little a little motel like because the door is like right there Mommy. to the outside however um we like suites because they have more than one room so you know Good. Kids can kind of fall asleep around. in their own space, which they're much better at. So right here. And then we have this. You can sit right there. Oh, See? that's not bad. Yeah, no, sit right there on the, the dirt. I guess that, that, that works. Yeah. Bathroom, another sink. And um, I like having a little mini fridge and a little sink and stuff like that. So it'll work. Ooh. Right, Vian? Oh, oh Riv, so. you want your iPad? Okay. Oh, you're so sleepy. I know. Okay, we'll help you. We're taking a break while the kids are watching Peppa Pig in the other room. It's kind of nice to relax. And even though I'm in Santa Barbara, we haven't had any time to enjoy any local wines. But luckily, I brought my own <laughs> Black Box, Black Box. <laughs> Cabernet. <laughs> Drinking straight out of the carton. Classy. <sighs> Only the best. When in Rome... Oh yeah. Although tomorrow we will be visiting a winery so I can have like legit wine, not the $5 grocery store literal box of wine, but yeah. whatever gets the job done after a long day of road tripping it with the that kids. Was chicken broth at first. I know it's in the same kind of <laughs> pots. Jeez. Oh, but so much better. Oh, it's, uh, Ada's Fish House. <laughs> Sitting outside <laughs> right on the street. Cheers. Cheers. Are. What do I have? Oh yeah, good 
stuff. Sparkling rosé. I don't know. Rose. I don't even know, need to know what kind yeah, it is. Old fashioned. The coolest. Nice. River, what are you eating? Octopus. Octopus. What is that, honey? Ian, what do you have there? Octopus. <laughs> is it good? <laughs> it is good. It's a cousin. Yeah. Mmm. Dinner is served. Fish and, Fish and chips. Fish and chips for dad. dad. Hello. And that's delicious. That I'm actually amazing. getting oysters too. Oh yeah, you get some oysters coming. Yeah. I had to try some oysters as if this meal wasn't mm. enough. Yummy. Delicious, by the way. Highly recommend Ada special. How's yours, Rev? Good? Yeah, and these butters are really good, but not a little bit spicy, but not much. <laughs> <laughs> and good night. See you tomorrow for another fun day. Ew, Rev. <laughs>
enjoy throwing rocks in water. This is like their favorite pastime, so we figured what better time to let them do this than, than right now. And we've got a pretty good arm for a 21 bundle. Yeah. Go ahead, throw a baby. Not a bad view. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Full of life flatbread. The cutest little place in Los Alamos, I think we are. Um, we're about 15 minutes away from the winery. Robert's gonna, is in there picking up the, the flatbreads right now. Then we're gonna go take them to the winery. And we're gonna drink some wine and actually get to enjoy, have the adults enjoy something, even though we did enjoy yesterday too. But you know, I like having um, activities on our trips for the kids and the adults. Something for everyone. I'm a little obsessed with all these rolling green hills. Like I just, I love it so much. Vineyards and green landscape. One of my favorite kinds of views that you can see in California. Oh, how cute, a little wood knock. Oh, this is where we're going. We're, going. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> Zach and Visa. Zach and Visa. Oh, it's kind of interesting. We've made it. We've made it to the wine tasting portion. We're starting off with a Chardonnay from Zodovich Vineyards. And um, we're gonna be doing a mixed tasting of some reds and some whites today. We're also gonna be enjoying our flatbread pizza and our fruit, which the kids had already mostly devoured. Yummy. And they were supposed to have like a life-size, like a huge, not life-size, like a giant oversized like chess set that the kids can play with out here, which is why we came here. And I don't see it anywhere, so. It might be behind something. Well, that doesn't help yeah. us if we're sitting I know, here, exactly. so. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see, but. Uh. So far, it's a pretty nice spot, and I'm enjoying enjoying my day here. Oh yeah. <laughs> How's your cuvee blanc? My cuvee blanc is good. It's very blanc-like. Um, it's great with the pizza, the mushroom pizza, the pepperoni pizza. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was that place called? Full, Full of life. Flat Full of bread. life. Flatbread. Pretty tasty stuff. Mushroom. Tasty stuff. Vian, you're living your best life over Vienne here is, is with your fruit and your some yogurt. Play yogurt. Good stuff. <laughs> thanks to our sponsor, Yo Play. Appreciate it. Also, thanks to Farmers Insurance for sponsoring this whole trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not really sponsoring yes. it, but yeah. making exactly. it possible. Yes, making it possible. <laughs> Thank you, Farmers Insurance. So it's really nice with this packed schedule that I had for us that we get to just like sit here for a little bit and just like <clears throat> relax. Eight and a half minutes, I think it is. Yeah, we don't get. Again, I we we have 90 minutes here, but we were late half we were an late. hour. Yay! We were um, 82 minutes late. And then when our time is up, we have to like rush out of here because we're going. Our last stop of the of our trip is the Santa Barbara Zoo. So we we have to get there for our scheduled time because idea. of COVID. We have to get there at 3.30. 3.30. And they close at 5. We, so we only have half, uh, an hour and a half there. So yeah, we have to hurry it's up. ridiculous. We'll probably end up getting there at like 4.45. No, we won't. We'll be on time for once. 4.40. Views for days coming down this hill. Yeah, that's great. I've read online that this zoo was the number one thing to do with kids in Santa Barbara. So even though we're exhausted, where it's like the end of the trip, we had to we had to make a stop here. So let's check out some animals. Ooh, there's the penguins. Penguins. Lion right there. Look at that guy. What's up, lion? Yeah, just chilling. Good, good shot. There's a big daddy. Little baby right there. Big baby. There he is. Oh, 
This is a great view, the water and the beach, and the meerkat, and then the giraffes over here. There's the giraffes, there's a whole bunch of other ones that are hiding. <laughs> well guys, that's basically the end of our trip. We left the zoo. We are on our way home, except we have to stop at the supercharger first in Oxnard to have our final charge to get us all the way home. We'll eat some dinner while we're there. We'll get home probably about 9 o'clock. 8.30. 8.30. It was a good trip. It was really fun. Um, but it was also exhausting from the kids not sleeping well last night and from us getting about negative two hours of sleep ourselves. And that's, I guess that's just how it goes when you're traveling with little ones. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching our first episode of Tesla Tots and Travels. We definitely hope to have another trip soon. We're not sure yet, but we are going to, um, you know, come up with something that's hopefully fun and adventurous. Um, and I guess just stay tuned. Bye.